All right, well today, uh, today we're having a quick example of how to easily hang a split ring on a pico edge, which is a reinforced edge for your sock cast on bonnet. Um, here is an example of what it looks like when you're done. What I've done is my hung hem on one side, I have the brilliant pink, and on the other, the blue, with the split rings kind of reinforcing where that hung area is. It's very easy to do. So basically, after you've hung your bonnet and started your machine, and you've done a number of stitches that you prefer, for me, I did this number of stitches to here. The number doesn't really matter. Then you do your pico, and basically a pico is where you take one stitch, for example here, off that needle and then hang it onto this one and repeat all the way around. And then basically you get this kind of flowery edge where that hung one is over here and repeated, etc. Um, by doing that, you kind of have a more reinforced, stronger connection. Hanging a split ring is a great idea uh, because this, of course, won't wear out as fast as a regular thread would when using it as a sock bonnet to cast on. Um, so once you've gotten to the point that you will be doing this, after you've done your single row of split rings that you're going to hang, I'll show you how, then you would do an equal number of stitches on the other side of your split rings and then hung, hang your hem. That's if you are looking to make something like that, where that is where I was working it, then I started counting, did my pico, hung the split rings, and then finished the hung hem by going back down the same number of the stitches. Anyway, so how to do this really quickly. I had another method that I posted and it was actually pretty, a lot of work. Um, there's another way of doing it and it's actually, I see a little bit easier. So I thought I'd share that with you. So basically, all you do is you come over to the machine and you identify before you do your Pico that you're going to do the Pico and that it's time to hang your split ring. Sorry for the shaking video, it's my mount. Um, so I have two stitches here, and I'm going to hang this one onto this one. So what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to prepare this base stitch by just lifting up the stitch, stitch temporarily. Now, oh goodness, it's always going to be a little more work when you're doing it on a video. So it's off the needle. I put a split ring there to save time and effort. Drop that stitch back on. Looks a bit messy, but that's okay. It's on top. And now we're going to take the, the one that goes over. So we have two stitches on the one needle and no stitch here. Now for ease of applying your split ring, we're just going to simply lift the split ring up and over those two stitches. Nothing can be divided. Nothing can be dropped super easy. So now it is hung. And what we're basically going to do now is repeat that all the way along so that they're all going to be hung. And then what happens once you do a single row of hung split rings with the pico, then you would continue, as I said, to do the back side of your hung hem and then hang it and then continue on with your design. Thank you much for thank you very much for your time today. Uh, good luck. Happy cranking.